Hey everyone, Johnny here. In this video, I want to give you a quick tip on how to package scripts with your geometry node trees. This way, when you distribute your nodes, you can do any kind of setup you need very easily by having the user just run the included script. It's really simple, so let's jump right in. I've created this really simple node tree. And to give it some complexity, I've added a vertex group that defines how densely these rods are created. And then I've created a face attribute that's a Boolean type that says whether or not points should be distributed on those particular faces. So to show you what I mean by that, if I just go into top view here and I select some of these faces and press F3 and do a set attribute, you see I have this select Boolean and I'll uncheck this for these boxes. And now you can see that that has cut out those faces from the geometry nodes. There's nothing overly special about this node group. So if we wanted to add this to another object, let's say I add another grid here. And I subdivide this a few times. I'll go into weight paint mode and maybe draw something like this. And we don't have anything on there. So I'm going to add the modifier geometry nodes, and then add my node tree. Right off the bat, you see we don't get anything. You see here that we do need an attribute called select and one called density, but we really don't have an idea of what these need to be. Now we could of course dig into the node to see what they do and then try to figure it out from there. The maker of the node tree could put uh, a description on there that said, hey, this needs to be a Boolean, this needs to be whatever. But instead, it would be nice if I could just have a script that created those attributes for me. So let me pull up a script that I've written. Now, this script is going to be included with the source files. And what I've done here is I've created three functions, uh, one called apply that can apply location, rotation and scale very easily. A function for adding vertex groups and an, a function for adding attributes. With the way that I've got these written, if you've got more than one object selected, it will do whatever you put up here at the top. It will do that to each one of your selected objects. Now, you don't have to use this script or even the layout for this script. You could write your own custom script here to do whatever you need to do before using your geometry node. But in my case, I'm just applying the scale of my object. I'm adding a face attribute of type Boolean called select and then I'm adding a vertex group called density. So if I click up here and run this script and then go to my mesh data tab, you'll see that I now have a vertex group called density and a face Boolean attribute called select. So now that it's added those, if I go into edit mode and choose my select attribute, I can do F3 and do a set attribute and turn this on. And then with my density group selected, I can go into weight paint mode and paint something here. So the two groups that I needed were created automatically. So say this is a node group that I want to release as an asset that maybe I'll use in the future or that somebody else might use. How can I provide this script in a way that will work with the asset library? Well, let's look at how we could do that. As I was poking around nodes, I remembered a certain feature of the frame node. So if I come over here and hit F to create a new frame, I'll give this frame a name like setup script. I'll open my end panel on the side and then I'll go to the node tab. Now, one of the things we can do is we can choose a text object from our file and connect that to the frame node. And if I expand my frame node, you'll see the text block is being displayed in the frame node. I really don't need that, so I can shrink this up just so it says setup script. And now that we've linked this text object to our node group, if we were to mark our node group as an asset, and then we bring in that asset into another file, that text block is going to come with it. Let me show you. I'm gonna go back to group and give this a name. We'll call this script example. I'll right click here and mark this as an asset. Now I'm going to save this file out to one of my asset folders. Next, I will create a new file. 
I'll open the asset browser. And if I filter this by SCR, you'll see I've got script example right here. Now, just to show you that I'm not doing anything tricky, if I go over to scripting, you'll see that I have no text blocks in this file. But now if I drag script example out onto this mesh, and now I go to the scripting tab, if I do this drop down, you'll see that my GeoNode setup has come along with my file. So now I can easily run this script on my object. And my object has the attribute and the vertex group that it needs. I was looking at this and I thought that this was a great start, but I wanted to make it a little easier. So I wrote a small extension to make this easier. I've put this extension in my personal script repository. I will put a link down in the description where you can go and you can pick that up. And all I'm gonna do here is open a browser window. And here on my URL, you can see my script library. And you want the Johnny Gizmo Geometry Node script runner. You can go about installing this a couple of ways. The first and kind of legacy way to do this would be to download the file to your downloads folder and then install it from the preferences menu. Another thing you could do is add my GitHub repository as a remote extensions repository and then you could install any of my extensions and you'll also get updates. The instructions on how to do that are down lower on this page. The last simple way to install this is by clicking and dragging this download link and dropping it into your Blender window. It will give you the option here of installing and enabling the add-on. Now please be aware this just installs it and you won't be able to check for updates as easily since you don't have a connection to my repository. But like I said, the rest of the instructions are on that page. The link is in the description. Now that I have that installed, I'm gonna go back over to my geometry nodes. Now, if I go to the node tab and I select my setup script frame, now under the properties where you selected the script you wanted, you also have the option to execute whatever script is listed here. So if you trust the source of your assets, like if it's your own or you've downloaded it from a trusted source, and of course you can always go to the scripting tab and inspect the script just to make sure it looks all right, you can just run this straight from here. And again, this just runs the script that's been selected in this box. And because we tied the script to the frame in the original asset, that will come with us. Now, one last thing you might wanna to do to help out any eventual user of your node group or yourself, just so you remember to do this, would be to come into your node and here where I have the named attribute for the selection, I also have this exists output. So what we're gonna do is make sure that this attribute exists and if it doesn't, we'll give the user a warning. So I'll add an output warning and the message here is run setup script. The only extra thing we have to do here is because the named attribute is a field and the Boolean for showing the error is a single value, we just want to sample our geometry and just take one of the inputs from that and check it for the named attribute. So if I do a sample index node, change the type to Boolean, connect my geometry, connect my exists, and then connect my value, you'll see that this has now changed to a single value and can work this error. So right now, this will show the error if it exists. So we do want to negate that first. So we'll put in a not Boolean math node. So now if the select attribute doesn't exist on the zeroth index of our object, then we will display an error. Let's check to make sure that works by adding a new mesh. I'll add geometry nodes and add my example. And here we can see I have run setup script. So I would want to go into my node, choose my setup script, and what I can do here is make this a lot bigger, and I'll run the script. And immediately you can see that that error went away. So I hope this gives you an idea of how you could create setup scripts for your geometry nodes 
and package them with your node assets and have them travel with your assets in the future. And then also my script runner extension would allow you to add that run script button in the node editor. Of course, you don't need that. You could always just go to the uh, scripting window and run it from there. I know this one might not have been flashy, but I hope it gives you some cool ideas and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. If you want this file, it's going to be available to my channel members and to my Patreon subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, click subscribe now. And then if you want to join, click the join button. My Patreon link is down in the description. You can check that one out as well. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you later.